Here's a one minute intro to physics. So let's say you want to find displacement and average velocity. You typically want to be in meters and seconds. So we can convert this two minutes to 120 seconds and we can convert this two kilometers to 2000 meters. Now to find displacement, it's final position minus initial position. So our final position is 2000, our initial position is 15. That's going to give us 1,985 meters. So that's your displacement. Now to find average velocity, it's displacement over time. We have our displacement and we have our time. Plugging it into this equation, we should end up with an approximation of 16.5 meters per second. So that's your average velocity and displacement. Now we need to talk about scalars versus vectors. Vectors have magnitude and direction. Scalars only have magnitude. An example is if you took a ball, rolled it, and it hit a wall going east and bounced back 10 meters west. If we wanted to calculate our distance, we would say we traveled a total of 30 meters since we went 20 meters east and 10 meters west. But if we wanted to calculate our displacement, which is a vector, we would say 10 meters since we went 20 meters in the positive x direction, but then 10 meters backwards in the negative x direction. Notice how vectors have direction and scalars do not. That's a one minute introduction to physics.